It's here! Wapa! Wapa! Okay, right, yeah. So we're back at it again with a brand new video release card. On the day of release, we've pulled some strings to be able to get this card. So if you appreciate the effort that we've put in, if you could smash that like button, that'd be fantastic. Get everyone else to see this video and make up their mind for this amazing new card and what it may be able to do. So it's finally here, guys. The wait is over. In my hands, I have the amazing AMD 6800 XT. This is the NVIDIA 3080 competitor. We've pulled some strings to be able to get our hands on this today. <laughs> and as you can see, we've got one here to test. We're going to give you the mining results straight out the box. We're going to be able to show you exactly how this card operates, see how it compares. We've got this video out for you really nice and quick to be able to enjoy. And you can kind of see how this card compares to others a lot of people are saying this is going to be an absolute weapon in terms of mining so let's put that to the case and see how good this thing really is oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah mm. so one of the really interesting things about this card in particular is of course it's got 16 gigabytes of vram versus the nvidia 3080 obviously only has 10 gigabytes but that is gddr6x this is a slightly slower gddr6 however there is 16 gigabytes which is a pretty hunky difference so as you can see on the visuals at the moment we've got the stats on screen for you to kind of have a little look at but ultimately all of those numbers don't really mean too much until we take the thing for a spin so without further ado let's plug it in let's get the test happening and let's get you those hash numbers so as you can see we've got our test bench here where we've been chugging away on the card to get some interesting results um, and as you can see we're gonna flash them up in front of you now and here are the numbers so out of the box, we're talking about 59 mega hash on Ethereum, uh, which is a pretty interesting baseline number to start with. So with a little bit of tweaking and playing, obviously we got up that number a little bit, but actually only as much as a maximum of 65 hash, really hovering around 61 to 63 mega hash, um, which is honestly really very disappointing, quite frankly. It uh, uh, nah, it didn't work. Nah. It's way, way under what we thought the card would do. Um, however, I am going to stop and hold reservation on this just at the moment because ultimately we're using brand new miners. Nothing's been optimized. There's always a lot of BIOS tweaking with the AMD stuff as well. So even though the out of the box numbers are not that impressive, I honestly have no idea quite how much overhead um, this is really going to have. So. 59 mega hash out of the box is pretty interesting. You're looking at around a 250 watt TDP on the card. So also, as you can see, just on the note in regards to the miners being a bit crazy and everything being a bit buggy, um, ultimately, you can see here from the screen, we managed to get hundreds of mega hash apparently on one card, which of course definitely isn't right. So these are extremely first entry results to give you a rough idea. Uh, we expect this number is going to get much more solid moving down the line. Um, but 59 out of the box and 65 are the two headline figures uh, that you're going to really want to know at this point in time. So just for reference, obviously our other videos, guys, that you'll be able to see around our channel, the 3080 out of the, the box, um, again, did a little bit more power around 300 watts, but that comes straight out of the box, 86 mega hash. Um, so quite a difference between 59 and 86. Um, so there's definitely a lot of jiggling and a wiggling to kind of see just how this competes in terms of mining. Um, it's obviously looking like an incredible card when it comes to gaming, um, but when it, will it be able to kind of match uh, NVIDIA's new cards when it comes to top end hash power? That is yet to be seen. So we put this video together for you nice and quick guys to get this out here. So we're going to provide more information and we'll probably do some more reviews on this as the 
miners materialize as things become a little bit more clear so keep your eyes on the channel for some more updates so we're also going to get some other reviews and some more in-depth footage about this card moving forward so if you want to see some more give us a like for getting this out there nice and quickly subscribe to the channel below and that will be really really helpful we can't wait to see you over the crypto market as it continues to run at this point in time and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video